Okay, so the last lecture we recorded a little sample clip of our coffee roasting course. And then when we hit stop recording in the upper right hand corner right here, it asked us where do you want to put the file? And we said put it in lecture 27A, editing ScreenFlow video. So we already had this set up. It's really easy to do in ScreenFlow. You know, you just open a new file and you just type in the name. So we hit stop and then so there they are right there so when we get back to this file and let me highlight the other one these two here are loaded for us and that's the screen recording and that's the audio from the Yeti microphone so all we have to do is take these and put them into the little work area here timeline they call it and so I've already set up the timeline I've got these bumpers already pre-done from another course and I'm going to show you how to do those later and then you use those over and over again so let me show you what they are they're just the little intro and outro with the logo see just that and it's the same thing at the end if you've seen them if you watch my course okay so we take this and hopefully there's enough room oh yeah plenty of room okay and click the first one hold down shift click the second one that way we can move them together and just bump them up against the intro clips there and you just gently touch them and, and they'll automatically position themselves right at the beginning or not <laughs> there we go there we go okay so then we go in here and roll this down to a smaller level that black area is what's going to be on your video that's the 16 9 ratio screen okay the 1920 by 1080 so then we hold down the shift key we grab this little corner here this is our screen actually and we just okay sorry about that let's there there we go and let's move this let's move the scrubber forward a little bit there we go so there's our screen so we just move it into the top left corner and it kind of snaps into place hold down the shift key and grab that corner and there and it snaps into perfect position and then open your screen up a little bit and you can use uh, the view here zoom zoom out zoom in or I just use the wheel on my mouse it works really well so I just wheel it out and then you can test it and see that yep that's uh, that's dead center it kind of snaps in and then click in the blank space there and there you go okay so let's go to the beginning and we'll play it a little bit turn this down a little bit so it doesn't distract you so now what we need to do is find the spots that we want to keep so I made a couple mistakes when I recorded this sample video. So that part I'm just talking, introducing the, the what I'm doing to you guys. So that's fine there. And then I start, and that's where I started. But a couple things we got to do here is when we went from the screen flow screen that we're recording to this presentation we have to adjust the screen because the presentation is like a perfect 16-9 ratio when you do a presentation in Keynote. But when we record the screen on a PowerBook Pro, it's not a 16 by 9, so I, ha I had it, it's already been adjusted. So, so we just, but it's really simple. We just go back a little bit till it's black. There you go. And then we go to up here to the top right and we click on the picture of a video and you click the bottom clip that's the recording of the screen click action and it puts in this little yellow box right there so anything I do up here in the properties of this video or move around will um, will be pr present for the rest of the clip until I do another action so this will make sense when I change it so there so I wanted to center that so from here on in after this little marker this little buoy this screen stays centered just like it is now on the other side of the buoy it's a different story okay see if I move the buoy back let's see where do I yeah if I move the buoy forward and I kept going you see it's off center but if I move it back see that that's what it does so pretty cool huh all right, so let's go find where we. There we go. So let's go back to the where it's black, so I know where to put the buoy. I think. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, that's. 
that's good enough. Okay. Okay, so we got that out of the way. That's a video action. We'll do another one just so you know what it's talking about. 